everyone, this is Erica the Technology Nerd who likes to film stuff and I have a Sadio Surface case to review for you all today. So here is the HTC One X. This is the AT&T version, although Sadio does make this case also for the international version. Just keep that in mind that you want to make sure to get the case for your particular phone. Every once in a while I come across a case that just makes me want to use my device even more. That's how it has been with this case. This is a very slim profile case. It's very sturdy and durable all at the same time. It is a two-piece interlocking case, as you can see here. It is very easy to install. Let's go ahead and grab the HTC One X. Before putting it in the case, the first thing to note is that it is lined inside with this really luscious feeling felt. And there's also a bit of a divot here so that when you do slide your phone, into this case, you're not having any trouble with that protruding camera. Yeah, I'm still not getting it, HTC. So you can see here, you can easily slide that in. There's no issue. Then you take the bottom piece and you slide that on as well, and it clicks in place, as you can see there. Now the first thing to note is, of course, the profile. Indeed, you can see that it doesn't take away much from the thinness of this case, which is incredibly important to me. I don't want to be carrying around a big bulky case. It's really nice when it's slim fit. Really nice there. As far as the feel of it, it is a soft touch coating, which is surprisingly scratch resistant, even though it does pick up oily fingerprints fairly easily, but that doesn't end up being much of an issue because I can just rub it against my shirt and then lo and behold it looks pretty much sparkly clean again. Yeah, I was eating a sandwich full of mayonnaise from my favorite local deli. Yeah, and I had gotten gunk all over this thing. It turned into a shiny, shimmery, nasty, gunky oiliness and I just wiped it on my shirt. No, no problem. Nothing at all. So scratch resistant, and even though it picks up oils, it comes off very easily. As far as ports, you can see that you have your USB charging port open here. It's a fairly nice amount of space here to plug in a mini USB. Now you go on to the bottom, and you've got a microphone hole here, and on the side, this is quite interesting, I, I thought, in terms of design. This is your volume rocker, and it is, let's get, see if we can get a close-up there. It is a piece of plastic that you can literally put your fingernails under. Uh, I don't know if that's a design issue or something that's going to cause problems with durability. I don't think so, because it lays nice and flat with the case. But there is this piece in here that's holding it together, so it kind of is, acts as a, as a true rocker. So you can see there, I haven't had any issues with it, I just thought that was a little curious of a design. On top, it's the same thing with your power button, but again, I don't think anyone's going to be having any issues with that breaking. And then you've got a nice size headphone jack and another microphone right here. As far as the camera opening, you can see that now you can place your phone down on a desk and not worry about that protruding camera. That's a good feature. You should learn from this HTC. Your flash is here, it doesn't cause any bounce back issues, reflections, so it's perfect. It also has a lay on the table design. As you can see here, you've got a bit of a lip that goes all the way around. So if I wanna place the phone down, like so, I should have no issues with it getting scratched up. That's always a plus. Now, as you can see here, you have this nifty little kickstand. I love Sadio's cases that include this kickstand here. It is plastic on plastic, but it is very sturdy. And inside it is spring-loaded, so you saw that cool little pop-up action there. Yeah, pop-up action. And it's got a magnet that actually holds it in place, so it hasn't had any issues with coming apart. Then you've got a nice opening here for your speaker grill. There's no obstruction, no issues at all. Awesome, awesome. One thing to pay attention to, of course, is screen protectors. You can see I've got a fair bit of oil on here. Mm. Oil. The thing to note about the HTC One X is that it does have a curved display and because the display is curved you have screen protectors, the dry install anyway, they don't ever go all the way to the edge. That is a good thing with this case because when you slide it onto the phone you can see that the plastic is indeed rubbing over that glass there and even though it is coming up over the glass I'm not having any issues with the screen protector coming up so that's actually quite perfect. One issue that I know that you're going to have is that you're, if you get a Zag protector or one of those wet install protectors that covers the whole display, don't expect to use this case because it's quite tight fitting. And I know that when you slide this over, 
the case and you hit that screen protector, it's probably gonna bunch or it's gonna bubble or something awful is gonna happen. So just don't do it. Just get one of these dry install. It's really not that bad. One concern that I have with this case is that on the inside here, even though it is very smooth, if you have grit or whatever, on your phone when you are putting it into the case, you might get some scratches on the side plastic of your phone. You can see that towards the end on here, I have a couple scratches. I know that that was from the case. Oh well, my bad. Just make sure that you are cleaning the inside of the case and that you are also wiping off your phone on the edges too because you could end up collecting some scratches which is not very cool but overall it's not a huge issue i'm not getting really horrible damage so it's just one thing to keep in mind as far as drop protection i think that this is going to fare you very well this is a very strong sturdy case i have dropped my phone in this case and i haven't had any issues so i think that you should be able to drop this phone from a fair bit of height and as long as it's not hitting down on the screen where there's rocks or something protruding. I don't think that you're gonna be getting any type of dings into the phone casing itself. So yes, very protective in that regard and very thick plastic actually towards the edges as well. So you should be well covered. This kickstand is gonna be great for those of you who use your phone as an alarm clock or somebody who likes to consume a lot of media. You shouldn't have any issues. What's great with the HTC One X is that the screen has phenomenal viewing angles. So it doesn't matter whether I'm sitting on the couch or if this is on my end table, but you know, the arm of the couch, I haven't had any issues. So awesome, again, thank you Sadio for understanding your customers. So thank you everyone for watching. This has been Erica, the technology nerd who likes to film stuff. This is a very solid, sturdy case that is scratch resistant. I know it's gonna be drop resistant and it seems to be oil resistant. Although it does seem to attract fingerprints, you are easily able to wipe them off without any issue whatsoever. This case will last you quite some time, very durable, strong, and it has a really awesome kickstand. So everybody check this out. Uh, here is Sadio's address here. You can also check them out at the bottom as well. So please rate, comment, and subscribe. And, and thank you so much, Sadio, for sending this case out to me so that I could review it for everybody. So please follow me on Twitter, which is at I am underscore Erica. You can follow me on Facebook, which you can get to from my main YouTube channel page. And there should be a link on the right hand sidebar. And also you can follow me on Google Plus, which I should remember to put a link down here in the bottom. So good night, everybody. I'm going to go and sleep and stuff and get all cozy. Night, night.